Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with the most popular tier 5 medium tanks in the past 30 days. I have a list over there and I can see everything and this list is very very surprising to me. Honestly, it is a huge surprise looking into this because uh, it is looking crazy. Anyways, uh, I have a task for you or mission for you. Try to guess which tank is the most popular um, speaking about the tier 5 medium tanks don't cheat I am looking at you I really doubt many of you will guess uh, which is the best tank or the most popular tank I suppose to say and you know the drill we are starting from the third place second place first place and we'll see how the things will go so the tank we are going to play now uh, has been played uh, um, half million times pretty much in the last uh, uh, in the last uh, two months. So uh, let's see, will you guess this time correctly? Let's go. And the third place goes to T-34. Uh, this is very surprising to me because I thought this tank is going to be in number one place at least uh, from the tanks I see in the list I think this tank is uh, uh, the most powerful one if I can say so although the other tanks I can understand why people are playing with them as well um, so what is so good about the T-34 and why is it so popular of a vehicle um, what this tank has fellas this tank has extremely good gun the gun of this vehicle is phenomenal and it is insanely good. Um, so this tank has 85 millimeters, uh, 85 alpha damage gun with extremely good rate of fire and it is created to punish tourists like this. This gentleman is trying to make a bit of pressure through the middle and he is just getting bursted, he is get, just getting blasted. So penetration is 112 millimeters of penetration and the shell velocity is extremely good of 1 kilometer per second second and uh, speaking about the gold shells it has uh, 189 millimeters of penetration which is insanely good for a tier uh, 5 tank and it has 1200 uh, shell velocity right which is very very good as well everything is fine with it um why do I think this tank is so powerful? It has a great combination of the things and by saying this I mean the tank is quick, the tank has reliable gun, the tank has great DPM, um, tank is just simply perfect in my humble opinion and this tank is just nice for a tier uh, 5 vehicle right um, in fact i would say this vehicle might be uh, one of the strongest tanks in the tier 5 overall um, obviously speaking about the free to play tanks or i cannot premium tanks i do not really think this tank is matching the uh, panzer 54 if i'm not mistaken uh, the premium version with amazing armor good mobility good gun handling and everything let's get real this vehicle is kind of uh, budget version right but once again this is uh, already understandable I believe many people knows that and uh, we do not need to act surprised nowadays when uh, the tanks for which people are paying they are just simply better than tech 3 uh, counterparts uh, just how world of tanks is looking like nowadays okay I believe it is about the time to join um, to join the battle enough of chatter enough of talks uh, let's try to get involved here so what we are going to do we are going through the middle of the field i believe we can and we will feel pretty great uh, and in the same time i want to take this position here so i will have a good angle for this panzer um for a hash i can see our team is losing the heavy line i am very very well aware of that fellas and panzer for a hash just one shot at our tank okay not a big surprise not a big deal not the first time and not the last time good luckily he missed the other shot just like this good 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 okay so what do we want to do now we want to have a nice angle to punish this gentleman who is sitting here right i'm going for a blind shots for obvious reasons and we can always out dpm this gun uh but this tank if we are penetrating our shots and if he is not penetrating his shots and i want to believe we are going to be completely fine although 
Who asked you to stay here? You dirty 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 Very dirty Holy effing of gun Thank you I needed to scream on the gun in order to make it work. It's okay, not the first time, not the last time. So, this is how the things are looking like and this is the start of our game. Obviously, we still can improve and we will improve. And in the same time, I'm going for a blind shots like so, I believe. Hmm. Actually, blind shots are not working that great as I would love it to work. Uh, how about if we would get more involved? I know this game is already GG finito. I am very, very well aware of that, fellas. You do not need to tell me this. I am very aware of this. So what we are going to do, we are going to use our DPM in order to slaughter this Panzer for obvious reasons. I'm very, very well aware about Levhash Art. Luckily, this Panzer missed us. So that's nice. I can hear Levhash Art flying for us and he is officially dead. Beautiful. Meanwhile... Other art is just simply killing us. Shame, uh, that, but that's World of Tanks for you and nothing what you can do about this. Once again, unfortunately, lower tiers are infested by the uh, pesky clickers and nothing what we can change about that. So, speaking about this tank and speaking about this game, obviously, it is not the best battle in the World of Tanks, but I believe it will show what this tank is capable of doing. Without spamming too much gold, I think we played relatively well uh, and we got as much as we got. And Enemies simply had way better team and we have a casual game uh, when it doesn't uh, matter uh, um, are you in the game or you are not in the game you are not going to win this and that's completely fine I am already used uh, for this and I believe you are used for that as well let's teleport to the end of this game and we are back fellas oh mission completed nice so what do we have we have a defeat with 1.2 thousand damage 100 assisting damage we are second by experience we are first by the damage it is lower T game and once again nothing to change here and nothing to do uh, an enemy platoon carried the game pretty well if I'm not mistaken or actually maybe they rigged brother in arms in the battle either way they did a good job and they deserve to win meanwhile we made 24,000 profits and this tank is pretty good and in fact I think this is my favorite tank of the list which you are going to see anyways let's go for round number two and you will see very very a popular tank next in fact other tank has 150,000 more battles per two months than t-34 so let's go and we are back with a number two slot fellas and very very definitely well deserved okay I believe you noticed in the previous game uh, we had like five panzers so yeah quite some of those um, anyways this tank has uh, two guns to choose from uh, probably the most popular option is the derp gun for obvious reasons everyone wants uh, and likes to hit hard and second spot is um, or second option I suppose to say is 110 alpha damage gun so uh, for this tank, obviously APs are not an option and you should never ever shoot APs with this tank. Um, heats, aka gold ammunition of this vehicle, has um, 350 alpha damage, 104 millimeters of penetration and 300 shell velocity. And high explosives, he has 410 alpha damage, 53 millimeters of penetration and 470 shell velocity. So why this tank is so loved by community because it it can be fun to play with right um yes obviously speaking about the uh, shell velocity this might be not the fastest traveling uh, um speed or time for a tank right but other than that the tank has a lot of beauty and it is uh, uh, derping or golfing around or however you would call this right and this is what is making this tank bladeful. Meanwhile, we have uh, we have a very very annoying light tank on top of the hill. Uh, ooh, sir hacker! We can easily call this gentleman a sir hacker. Meanwhile, Arta is smacking us for 108 in the face, and there is nothing what we can change about this. I am just simply accepting that, and better luck next time. This Vaka did a very good opening for his team. He did absolutely everything properly and we cannot change anything there. The thing is... 
map which we have usually i love camping off because with all my heart uh but for this time this is going to be a very hard map to play truly meanwhile what we are trying to do we are trying to get a proper angle and a proper pre-aim for elc even and as you can see fellas elc even is going in front like there is no tomorrow and the worst thing of all this unfortunately but we cannot do absolutely anything for this gentleman and he is uh, he is simply playing well there is nothing to add and nothing to say so this game is looking very complicated for our team we are losing this battle by 1.6 thousand hit points again um can we change something here unfortunately we cannot and we can only cross our fingers so our gentlemen who are playing on top of the hill they're winning the hill if our team will be able to pick the victory here then we can breathe a bit uh, um a bit better at night and we will have some space to play in a way meanwhile what do I want to see? I want to see this ELC bis making a mistake. And pre-aiming shots like this is very, very hard, fellas. Keep this in mind. With a derp gun to hit shots like this, it is extremely hard. Although he is not happy. Minus 400. Ooh, he is not happy. And this is the moment why people are playing with the tanks like this. And this is the moment why people are enjoying tanks like this. Just for moments like this. Um, it is called golfing in World of Tanks. If you are penetrating shots like this, as you can see, enemies have no hopes, no dreams. Um, and they cannot do absolutely anything for you. That's why people love the derp guns. And once again, it is completely understandable. It is completely fine and it can be fun, okay? At least I understand this, um, this gameplay. Although, to be completely honest with you, for me, derping or golfing or however you would call this, it is not my favorite activity in the world of tanks. Meanwhile, Hellcat is going, um, Hellcat is trying to cross through the middle of the field. Uh, this is completely understandable, right, since uh, we have pretty much no team left currently and we are in the big trouble. Let's try to pre-aim for this ELC. This is not going to be the is a shot by any means and this is going to be a hard one but once again this is as much as we can do at this uh, point it is quite pity games are so unequal nowadays right and uh, it is uh, it is a very rare occasion and very rare situation when you actually uh, need to use your uh, head in order to you know win the game or lose the game whatever you name it uh, it's just how World of Tanks are looking like nowadays. Anyways, I'm going to load the heat ammunition for this Vaka. There is a chance our Arta will be able to track him. And if our Arta will track this Vaka, we are going to be able to penetrate him. Going for a shot, we are killing him. That's good. Unfortunately, I am spotted, but I'm, nothing what I can change about this. And at this point, we need to run for our life. Skill, are you going to survive this game? No, I won't. I know I am a dead meat here and it is matter of the time whenever we are going to die but it is not changing the fact we can still uh, smack someone in the face in fact i'm going to load the heat ammunition just like so um for one particular reason because i simply want to get one more um one more extra shot if it is possible right uh, once again this is not a victory you can look however you wanted this uh, we are not going to win the game meanwhile we have elc and I'm dead for, for Arta. This is World of Tanks nowadays, fellas. And, you know, I can always go to the vote replays and I can always... Uh, um uh, take the best games ever but I do not have anything to hide from you you are playing this game yourself um, and uh, I am here to show the true colors of the world of tanks and oh boy world of tanks can be kind of uh, tricky and pain in the ass to play with right anyways um uh, 
while we are in the garage i really want to share one thing with you fellas uh if you would pay attention in the index page and i know some of you knows this and some of you do not um we are working on our page right to make it as convenient to use we recently added tech 3 uh into the index and you can check everything what you want for example you can find youtube videos easily you can find equipment setup crew setup mark of excellence required field modifications you name it and it goes for every single uh, class in the game right and you can easily see how do I rate the tanks and so on so on you know the drill already if you care about index page you can easily google skillful to index or check out the description down below so in this game we have 1.2 thousand damage 990 uh, assisting damage and two kills um and uh, Oi, oi. Um, the second place by the damage did 700 damage in this game. Um, and by experience, Pavlak tank uh, is in the second place with one shot of damage. Wow, that's that's nuts. Okay, this is World of Tanks for you. Nothing what we can change about this. Anyways, Panzer in action. And once again, um, I want to highlight there is alternative option if you do not like derp guns. 110 alpha damage gun is not bad on this tank whatsoever and it can definitely work. And now with Without further ado, um, this tank has 100,000 games more than Panzer IV H, and this is the most surprising tank for me because, to be fair with you, I am not seeing too many of those in the battle, but uh, maybe I'm just wrong. Anyways, let's teleport in to the number one slot. Let's go. And number one spot goes to the VK 3001 H. Really? I did not expect this vehicle to be so popular. Number one slot, I would not give this tank top five to be fair with you, but that's what we have. Anyways, nevertheless, what this vehicle has good, this tank has absolutely amazing gun skill. What do you mean? I mean, alpha damage is 135 um, alpha, 157 millimeter standard penetration. 1170 meter shell velocity which is very good in the tier 5 plus on top of that if you are willing to shoot gold you are getting faster shell velocity and 221 millimeters of penetration there is some tier 7s some tier 8s probably which do not have that good penetration and this vehicle has it in the tier 5 so this is very worth thing to highlight boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and this is why this vehicle is uh, probably so popular or maybe because we had leopard one tech three um maybe that's why and people was grinding leopard also could be possibility either way i understand why people can love this tank and i understand why people can enjoy this vehicle meanwhile uh if you are wondering how did i rated this vehicle this vehicle is rated epic in the index page <clears throat> so this is like the highest rating of the of the tanks right or maybe fellas people are paying attention on the index page and they are playing the tanks which we rated epic ah fellas is it is it um is it the case this is the question obviously speaking about this game i don't really think we can be too aggressive here i believe this is completely understandable and we do not want to be too aggressive it is just simply not worth it uh, what might happen enemies might be the living crap out of our uh, um, guys who are playing on the ice road although to be fair with you looking into the current situation even though enemies have a lot of guns here it is not looking that uh, um, big of a deal or maybe it is okay anyways uh it's better to be safe than to say sorry and what we are going to do we are going to go to the ice uh, uh, road and hopefully from the ice road we will be able to um punish enemies for doing one or another bad decision right so far looking into the hit points luckily for our team enemies are kind of uh, um afraid to make any pressure whatsoever right so what that basically means that basically means we are going to join Join our forces together with T-3485 M, Oi and T-1 Heavy and hopefully we will be able to farm enemies without bigger problems whatsoever. So let's try to do so. 
uh, speaking about the game I believe it's fair to say we are already uh, winning this battle by humongous margin we are winning this game by the five guns we are winning this game by the um, by pretty much 4,000 hit points which is humongous amount of the hit points if you would ask me and all we need to do at this point at this point we need to start uh, uh, punishing enemies for one or another mistake from their side and believe me they are going to make quite some of the mistakes once again since standard mm, penetration of this vehicle is so good it is quite easy to penetrate enemies even without gold ammunition which is quite nice and it is quite good stuff overall although we are getting um, effed in the face quite a bit ourselves but in the same time if we are not going to make any pressure here we are not going to get any use whatsoever and this is going to be uh, quite a trouble if you know what I mean so at this point we are just simply waiting until enemies will get involved we are hoping for the best uh, this gentleman just fired I'm going to peek against enemy luckily we can punish him in the face that's great and this is how we are playing this battle not the most exciting game by any means there is absolutely nothing to say about excitement of this battle right uh, because I believe it's fair to say and it's clear to say um, enemies simply have no team whatsoever but all in all uh, I think we made this tank work to the best of our abilities and this is what we have skill I you spamming full gold me spamming full gold no I would never and once again kind of average game but this is world of tanks fellas i'm not making this shit up you are seeing everything yourself how the game is looking like uh and i don't really think it would be fair from my side to show you um uh, the best um battles out of 100 games right and whenever i am doing those showcases i'm saying this is the best of those are the best games which i had in a while now for a casual game this is completely fine also if you are curious how much you need to do in order to get mark of excellence on this tank i am surprised you need to do only 1.2 thousand so this game would bring us the third mark of excellence and this is quite um weird stuff if you would ask me anyways what do we have 1.2 thousand damage 200 assisting damage we are third by experience we are third by the damage uh we managed to make 6,000 credits a uh, battle was four minutes long and all and all after three games with our medium tanks none of the games we are super awesome all of them we are average uh in the best case scenario but you know what that's world of tanks for you and there is nothing what you can do about this anyways my friends thank you very much for watching i hope you are very very well entertained um and hopefully the next session which we are going to have is going to be so much better than this one thank you very much for watching and have a lovely one take care fellas skill is out peace